Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Andrea Chisholm. Gas prices are going down tomorrow. A litre of 87 and 90 gasoline will go for 8 cents less. It's costing $1.67 more for automotive diesel, while ultra-low sulfur diesel will cost $1.72 more. $1.57 will be added to the price of kerosene. Propane will cost 93 cents more and butane is up $1.23. Oil prices traded lower today. Oil for delivery in September lost 2 cents to settle at $41.90 a barrel. Foreign exchange trading is becoming more popular with many believing they can earn thousands of dollars in a short time with very little effort. But as you'll hear from Andrew Laidley, sometimes the risks outweigh the benefits. We are here to share a secret that you can actually increase your income every month with just a few easy steps. This is an advertisement for foreign exchange trading. You may have come across a similar ad on social media but what exactly is it and how does it work? Financial analyst Dennis Chung explains. It's really just betting on the movement of currency against each other. That's what the forex trading is. Um, it is something that is a high risk because of how the market moves very quickly. Mr. Chong told our news team that he engaged in Forex trading for a short time to understand what the market was about. Having received that first-hand experience, he has this advice for those thinking about venturing into Forex trading. You need to put what they call stop orders. So um, when, when, when you put a stop order in place, you say that if the market moves, um, against me a certain amount, then it will automatically sell out or automatically buy based on that, right? Um, some people, when they go in, they don't do that sort of thing, right? And, it, and the market, when you, when you look at the market, when you read the things, it, it teaches you that um, it, it expects that you will lose most of the trades, but the, the bet is that you will gain a lot more on the one or two of ten that you win on than the eight that you lose on. For some people, forex trading is the new get-rich-quick scheme. Mr. Chung agrees, but he says it has the potential to leave traders with even less than they started out with. When people market these things to you, you need to be careful of it. I need to look at it, right? Because it could be someone, well, someone is trying to lure in because remember that other end, when they're put into it, they're trying to make money, you know, right? No one is going to advertise something to give you money. They are trying to pull you in to, to make money. And for, for them to make money, right, or for other people to make money, you have to lose. This one is particularly risky because a lot of the, the brokers that are out there pull you in and say, we'll give you a margin. And what that margin does is that your $1 bet turns into a $1,000 bet that you're losing. He's calling on the Financial Services Commission to add its voice to the ongoing conversation and to provide guidelines. Andrew Laidley, TVJ News. Speaking of foreign exchange, currency trading ended today with the U.S. dollar selling for $145.94. The Canadian dollar, $111.22. The pound closed at $187.57, while the euro is going for $167.97. To the stock market now, the JSE index lost 911 points today, while the junior market index gained 43 points. Among the winners, Consolidated Bakeries, KLE Group, Epley, Mayberry Investments and AMG Packaging and Paper Company. On the losing side were SSL Venture Capital, Salada Foods, 1834 Investments, Sajakor Real Estate X Fund and Caribbean Flavors and Fragrances. And that's it for the Business Day. I'm Andrea Chisholm. Good evening.